My name is Dale Flatt. We're standing in South Austin in the Fairview neighborhood at 5100 Greenheart Drive. Behind me is my mother-in-law's home, and which we just sold. Uh, one of the problems we had was 10 days before going into closing, we found out from the city that this garage behind us that had a, gr a glass door placed on it 42 years ago was out of code compliance. They didn't have a permit having it as a garage conversion. So we had to pay $123 for an inspector to come out, stand there for about one minute, look at the space and say, you're okay. We went through the closing, the new owners bought the property, and then the city came back with a second letter saying they didn't like the garage carport, that it was in code violation. Unfortunately, or fortunately, we don't own the home anymore, and now the new homeowners, much like many of the other owners in this neighborhood, have adopted a new problem. People have bought these homes, and these conversions were done 20, 30, 42 years ago, and the city is expecting these people to come back in and comply with the 2006 building code regulations. This is an example of one of many houses in this neighborhood where people have converted their garages into a potential living space by taking off the garage doors and putting in a set of sliding glass doors. This is an example of a professionally installed carport in this neighborhood that looks very nice, does not obstruct any part of the sidewalk, sidewalk or the uh, street, but yet it is in violation of the ordinances according to the city and they expect these people to tear it down. This house here is an example of where the city wants this owner to create a variance. This driveway uh, is four feet short of being wide enough to hold two cars, although it's original to the neighborhood. The, the city wants him to come in and expand the driveway so two cars can park here. I'm assuming so there's less traffic on the street. We don't think it's fair. The, uh, the city has given them just a short period of time to comply or, or has uh, challenged them with fines of $2,000 a day per violation, or they're gonna shut off their electricity. We're asking the city to slow down, allow the homeowners more time to complete the process and find a fair and equitable solution to this problem.